guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Samira Danae and I'm back with another freaking video or whatever so guys it is finally 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 time to take these freaking braids out okay I had these braids in for two months after the first month I got the top of the braids free done and I kept the back ones in so yeah it's time for these braids to go it's been two months I have so much build up around my edges from using edge control and stuff like that but yeah, it's time for these braids to go. I want to do a limb check and see if my hair grew. I need to trim. I want to just have my natural hair off for a little while. So it's time for these braids to go. And can you guys guess how many braids I have in my hair? Like how many do y'all think? Mind you, I took out three braids. I took out a braid right here. And two braids in the back. So comment below and let me know how many braids you guys think I have. And I'm going to let you guys know closer to the end of the video. So yeah, without further ado, we're about to get into this video. So I am going to start in the back of my head. I'm going to work my way up. Now I'm not sure how long my hair is. So I'm going to test it out on one braid just to see the length of my hair. I don't know. I'm going to cut it about right here. Let's see. I really like hate taking out braids. It's like so time consuming. It's gonna take me a while to do these since I have like a good amount of braids. And I also have a plastic bag right here. I'm gonna be putting all of the hair in. Once I take them out. I'm going to need to detangle my hair. I know a lot of hair is going to come out, which is always normal after braids because it's mainly dead hair from your hair like being braided up. So I know I'm probably going to have a lot of dead hair once I take these out. And I'm also going to be doing like an aloe vera gel um, pre-poo. Just want to try some different things to see like what works on my hair because I really want my hair to grow like longer and for it to be healthier right now I mean my hair is super healthy right now but it's just super thin and I feel like it's just not growing so I took this braid out this is how long that was so I cut that at a pretty good length so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut some more braids It took me about an hour to take all of these braids out and y'all I have so much freaking dandruff like it's literally like all over my shirt it's everywhere so I'm about to move to this side I'm just ready to be done already so I have this many left to go so I'm going to start cutting these and taking these out I cannot wait to wash my hair I'm so excited to try the little aloe vera gel hopefully it helps with dandruff too because my hair is like super flaky making sure I'm not cutting any of my hair. taken out and it is currently sectioned off because I'm going to start putting the fresh aloe vera plant on my hair in a few moments but I just wanted to show you guys how much hair came out when I took my braids out I did detangle it a little bit um however I'm going to thoroughly detangle it once I um start with the aloe vera treatment so this is how much hair came out guys this dirty ball of hair is what came out after taking my braids out which is expected I always have like a lot of like um you know dead hair after taking out my braids so i'm not too worried about that so yeah we're about to get started with the aloe vera pre-poo and i just have here i have a water bottle i have 
my fresh aloe, of course. Ooh. And I have this brush I'm going to detangle my hair with, as well as this detangling comb. And I have a shower cap. So, just going to start with this section since this is already right here. I'm just going to spray with a water bottle. And I'm just going to make sure that it is detangled. My hair is so freaking dirty and it itches so bad, so I cannot wait to wash my hair. It's like, it's so dirty and like the water is just making it like all the dirt comes out. So I'm just gonna take one little piece of aloe that I cut and I'm just gonna begin to rub this on my hair. And I know some people actually uh, scoop the gel off of the plant, but ah, I feel like it's the same thing. So I feel like this way it's just more it's easier. to my hair and look at the edges it got me looking like a little puerto rican mommy or whatever so i'm gonna let this sit on my hair for about 15 minutes then i'm going to wash my hair and i'm going to come back and i'm going to deep condition my hair um with this olive oil replenishing conditioner is a the sweet orange oil so i'm gonna do that after i wash my hair i just feel like i just need my hair needs all the love all the moisture because it's been in those braids for two months and you know so i am gonna put this shower cap on i'm gonna leave this on for 15 minutes but while we wait, I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about um, some of the benefits of using aloe on your hair in case you did not know, in case you want to try it or whatever the case may be. So um, aloe, it acts as a, a great conditioner. You can use it to condition your hair. It's really good for that. Um, it leaves your hair smooth and shiny. It promotes hair growth. It prevents itching on the scalp, which is really good because I feel like my hair is like always itching, just always. I don't even know. But it prevents itching on the scalp, reduces dandruff and yeah so many other benefits if you guys want to you know know any more benefits just go on google and just type in you know the benefits of using aloe vera gel in your hair and a whole bunch of stuff will come up but just want to let this sit so guys i am back i am done with washing my hair and let me tell y'all my hair feels so good it's like super clean like i'm really loving how the aloe vera gel makes my hair feel like it feels amazing but anyway i'm about to add this olive oil deep conditioner i'm going to section my hair off into four sections again i'm just going to apply the conditioner to each section of the hair
I'll detangle and it's in these two little knots. So I'm just gonna put this shower cap on again, as well as this head wrap. This is just going to make the conditioner warm and make sure it really like gets into my hair and penetrates my scalp. So I'm gonna leave this on for about 15 minutes and then I'm gonna wash this out. I'm probably gonna shampoo my hair one more time and then I'm gonna blow dry my hair and style how I normally would. So, so yeah guys, this is the end of today's video. Um, be sure to comment. Let me know if you guys like when I do hair videos. Let me know if you ever tried using fresh aloe vera gel in your hair and how you like the results. Be sure to like this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe, join the gang or whatever. I appreciate it in advance. And like I always say, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>